And that was Matt Paddock in Narragansett. Speaking of the shoreline, as we look at our weather windows, we're looking at Newport. I mean, it's like a picture perfect morning out there, Michelle. Oh, it's a great morning to do a little boating, kick off the weekend yeah. early. Some people are. They're already down at the beach in Narragansett right now. And it's a beautiful morning to do that. It's been clear. It's been crisp. Great sleeping weather last couple of nights. Now that starts to change. Warmer nights and warmer afternoons ahead of us. In fact, even this afternoon, while we keep the humidity low, will be warmer. You can see those blue skies in North Situate. The temperatures right now making their way out of the 60s. Providence still at 68. Taunton as well. 63 in Smithfield and Westerly is at 63. Keeping the threat tracker in the green for today. Heads up for Saturday. Again, isolated thunderstorm possible mostly towards the evening hours and the early part of the night. But we'll talk about when we have our really two chances to see them. Sunday's threat tracker is green. Looking at our live radar, nothing to track right now on the roadways. They're dry. We'll stay that way for both commutes today. Afternoon high temperatures a little warmer than the last two days. 82 inland areas. So we climb up here steadily through the end of the morning. Midday hours about 79 degrees. 5 o'clock this evening. Partly cloudy and near 80. Beaches are fine as well. If you can get down to the coast 75 degrees. Winds are off the water. The winds do pick up a little bit this afternoon. We'll see a southwest wind direction 5 to as much as 15 knots in the afternoon with some gusts to 20. That'll build our wave heights up in the bay to 2 to 3 feet with a high tide 240 43 this afternoon evening looking good to be out and about 70s early on 60s during the later evening hours and you're going to start to notice a difference with those temperatures as the night goes on it's not going to be as cool and the humidity is going to be climbing up during the night after midnight towards tomorrow morning we could see an uh, isolated shower or two pass through i'm going to show you that here but again it's helping to be fueled by the rising humidity so dew points in the 60s feel pretty uncomfortable and sticky, especially as the temperatures get warmer. So you notice Sunday is not as humid as Saturday and it's not as humid as Monday. But dew points back into the upper 60s. But Saturday, that severe weather threat, at least a marginal risk right now for our area. I'd put a slightly higher risk further inland in New England than locally, but mention that shower threat. With the warm front coming through tonight, we'll have the chance for an isolated shower. That threat ends by about 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then we've got this big stretch of dry weather during the daytime Saturday. So you can get out and about, enjoy the heat and the humidity. If it's your kind of weather, good pool day for you. But noticing, again, more showers and storms firing up at the end of the day. This is six o'clock in the evening. Cold fronts approaching, so an isolated storm in the early evening and a chance for a few showers into the early part of Saturday night. That's all gone by the time you wake up Sunday morning. Meanwhile, it's going to be a tough weekend in the Central Gulf Coast region. Already seeing the leading edge of rainfall pushing towards those Central Gulf Coast states like Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. This is a potential tropical cyclone. They're calling it right now, but it's likely to become Claudette today, a tropical storm. It's expected to make landfall uh, late this evening or overnight tonight as a tropical storm. So tropical storm force winds are possible, but I think more of an issue will be the amount of rainfall. Five to ten inches of rain there with isolated amounts up to a foot of rain. 84 degrees with just an isolated shower around here for your Saturday. Sunday for Dad's Day, warm, not as humid, 85 to 90 inland in the middle to upper 70s, closer to the coast. A hot, hazy, hot and humid first day of summer, Monday at 87 degrees and a chance of showers and thunderstorms again Tuesday.